Well, we had some special effects. We had some great football with explosive plays. Everything that Chris Ricks likes to see. Texas comes out. They win the toss, and they elect to start on offense. Great call. Great call because first touch, it's the Jay Johnson. I don't think he gets touched on this play. 84 yards. Feeling good on the 40 acres, Chris. Well, you got the uh, NFL soundtrack there, and then you had a seal <laughs> there from NJ McFarland. See it right there on the right side, 85, boom. The Jays in the secondary, and then it's all a foot race. He is the truth, true freshman, 27. MJ McFarland, he worked blocking one-on-one -on -one with Alex Okafor during the spring so he could get that part of his game down. I think he's got it down. Hey, how about some tackles for loss early on? Alex Okafor sending Lake Seastrunk the wrong way. Third and 11. Stingy Texas defense there, incomplete to Terrence Williams. So you get a three and out. Texas defensively came in. The fewest three and outs in college football this season. The Jay Johnson trying to make something happen. Huge play here from David Ash. That's some athleticism. Well, he was just in the right place at the right time, but the great hand and eye coordination to cover that one up there. It just delayed it, though. And this is when you have the mishap. Alex King, there's a reason why Coach said, I love Alex King. I just don't want to see him out there. <laughs> they don't want to punt the Baylor and give it to him, especially with this kind of field position. So three and out. Then on the next snap for Baylor after they get it with that botch snap, it's a touchdown from Nick Florence. We got a tie game. There goes that momentum. Third and one, rolling out, throwing for the first down. DJ Grant, he had a drop against Oklahoma, makes up for it there. Joe Bergeron. Joe Bergeron hurting people in this game, Ahmad. He's making people pay. When you tackle that kid, you remember it the following morning. Joe Bergeron had to wait for the third drive of the game for Texas to go wow. airborne, get his first touches and get a touchdown for Texas. And look at that, dramatic fashion. I didn't know the big boy, like 240 plus, could go that high, Ahmad. And the Mike Davis block, he pancaked that DB. And Mike Davis has the magic, but so does this Baylor offense. Michael Thompson, though, hey, we're making open field tackles. Manny Diaz saying it's all about just battling. Keep on fighting. Get him into a third down and good things happen. Or do they? Quandre Diggs. Defense called there. Eligible receiver. There's the first down. Baylor trying to make him pay. I do like this music though, Chris Riggs. <laughs> Terrence Williams, tough matchup for anyone, Ahmad. He is, and he did a great job tonight and give Defense. Quandre Number some credit six. there for taking on a tough, tough lead. challenge. Well, look at that. Oh boy. Late hit, Kendall Thompson, but you like that a little bit, Chris? Yeah, hey, it's showing your aggressive nature and getting after the quarterback. Baylor. Turns it into points, though, so an opportunity for Texas to get off the field. A couple of penalties. Setting up Nick Florence in the touchdown. Double move from Terrence Williams. Florence gets nailed, but still gets rid of it. And you got a large touchdown to Terrence Williams. Well, you've seen that kid, Nick Florence, do that all season long. He's good. He just bites here, and then he comes up and, and doesn't come clean out of his break. But give that kid credit. That was an awesome route. He turned those shoulders and really sold that hook. Third touchdown catch of at least 70 yards in the past two games for Terrence Williams. So it's Baylor up 21 to 14. Mike Davis fighting. He's got that third down conversion. MJ McFarland, he of the monster block to set up to Jay Johnson. This is what the young man from El Paso was known for. Over the middle with the hands there to help out the QB. Well, yeah, you got to reward him. Gets a big block earlier, give him the rock, and he's got some good hands too. Oh, look at that. Baylor, they've had some good track athletes in the past. Marquise Goodwin <laughs> knows that. He shows up that track speed. It's a first down. Texas into the red zone. We go to the second quarter, and there goes Joe Bergeron. There's a little wiggle in Joe Bergeron in a play like that. Remember, he, he had nothing on the ground against Oklahoma. Went backwards. That was the only time he found himself in the end zone against the Sooners. He finds himself in there five times, and that ties up the game at 21. Nick Florence, little X factor here with his legs. Well, when they spread you out, it opens up the middle of the field, and he used it tonight. You guys ready for it? You guys ready? Hit it. Salubi! <laughs> Jared Salubi taking it to the outside. I guess it would be somewhat Defense, of a good point four, when you just mentioned that Salubi only had 46 rushing yards. So you'll take that. Once again, penalties. The Carl lays him out. Sets up Baylor in the red zone. And that is just a heck of a play from Nick Florence. Yeah, Florence buying time here. You see Bindham on the up top. He comes up because it looks like Florence is going to run the ball. It's tough to cover that long, but you got to give a lot of credit to the quarterback. What a playmaker on that one. 
Dwayne Aquino coaching him up. Look at Mac Brown. He's in there, too. Mm -hmm. He wants to know everything that's going on in this performance. Here is one of the game-changing moments. DJ Monroe. No touches in the past two games. Almost got himself a touchdown to Mod Brooks. We will not remind him that's the kicker that forced him out of bounds. <laughs> yeah, but I love his energy. He's playing like a senior, and he's playing like he's a special player. Like it's all on the line. But then it's hungry, hungry, hippo, Joe Bergeron. You just think of him and hitting that little level and him just eating up all those touchdowns. I'm you, that looks like Malcolm getting on the edge of Jonathan Gray. I'm telling you, Joe B had some, had some uh, kick in his uh, running tonight. Just a little more burst. I like it. Well, you heard him talking about how inspired the offense was this week. And there it is, the takeaway you are looking for. Josh Turner for the first time in his career. And Kenny Vaccaro made him get more air under it, which allowed Josh mm -hmm. Turner to make a very, very good play for a young man. Yep. Josh Turner getting more and more playing time as the season goes on. Third and seven, you need another conversion. I'm feeling the magic. It's Mike Davis with the conversion. Texas lights out on third down, 10 of 16 overall. Jonathan Gray. Welcome to the end zone. It's good Ooh. to see 32 in the burn orange in the burn orange for six. What a nice move. You see him set this guy up right here and the instant burst. He doesn't spend a lot of time in that cut. He gets in and out, and the rest is history. Nice patience. Did you see the block, too? Espinosa pulling. Big dog. Pulling. Joe Bergeron. Hey, you're kind of right. That You can't confuse that, even though that's Jonathan Gray. I mean, you're getting production from two young guys. I mean, you keep in mind, too, we're talking about a true sophomore and a true freshman doing this running back attack for Texas. I've lost track. Is that like four, <laughs> five? Where are we with Joe Bergeron? We know it's good. Four touchdowns for Joe Bergeron in the first half. There would be more Texas taking the lead into the break. But Baylor starts with the ball. They look for Terrence Williams. Of course, you're going to look for him. Terrence Williams into the red zone. First and goal, Nick Florence. Oh, no, lost the ball. Can you? Oh, look at that. Josh Turner almost gets it. But Jordan Niver ends up diving on this one. I don't know what happened here, but Baylor's got a touchdown. Well, and Kenny Vaccaro doing a nice job there of separating Florence from the ball. Steve Edmond, you heard Manny Diaz saying he played his best game. Gets his mid up there. Puts down that two-point conversion. So no points. It's only six. Second and eight. Uh-oh, we're slippery. We are slippery, the conversion. Nick Florence, Lanier Sampson, Glasgow Martin. Glasgow Martin taking on the Texas defense, 21 yards to the 17. So we're in the red zone. But Baylor, it's going to be a boo-boo. Looking end zone, you're like, oh, no, this is not good. Number 71. But it was good. Holding call. Moves them back. No touchdown. Florence again, but it's behind him. And Josh Turner, he nailed him. He there, nailed him. There's Turner coming over with that safety help and the crack. If he doesn't make that hit, that receiver probably gets his foot down for the touchdown. Clutch play by Turner to prevent the touchdown. One of those great moments where they hold Baylor to a field goal in the red zone. And right after that, first play from scrimmage on the next drive. Mike Davis, 67 yards. Of course, he does not score a touchdown because he is contractually obligated to let Joe Bergeron finish this one. <laughs> Number five for Big Joe. And Texas has the eight-point lead. And look at this. Emmanuel Acho spotting Natalie Portman in the house for the Terrence Malick flick. Say Natalie Portman on the sidelines. Definitely would have met her if I was at the game. Next time, Natalie, next time. <laughs> LOL. Did you guys, you guys were on the sidelines. Did you meet Natalie Portman? Nope. No, I did not. You did not. That's a shame. Definitely unfortunate. It is. It's Natalie Portman. Christian Bell is apparently around as well. He just, I guess, didn't show up for our cameras. Hey, this is a game, though. Let's get serious. Back to business. Texas with a nine point lead. And Baylor moving it on the ground. Third down conversion. Of course not. Huge tackle from Quandre Diggs. Well, you just get what you can there. And that was a big play. Quandre really showing that he's a playmaker for this team. Fourth and four. Someone circles the man down low for a reason. Even though they weren't great on third down, they get the fourth down conversion. Keep in mind, Baylor came in eight and nine on fourth downs. The best fourth down team in all of college football. Third and one. We got a fumble. We're looking for another momentum play. You got it. Michael Thompson says, give me all of those. But it's Steve Edmond that holds up the Baylor player. It looks like his home guy hits it out. That's oh, unfortunate. But I like the fact that Edmund stuck his head in there. And you heard Coach Diaz say he played his best game tonight. Yeah. Cash it in. Jonathan Gray, very good on third and short. Had two opportunities against Oklahoma. Did not convert. Either one of them gets that there. 
Joe Bergeron going this way, going that way, across the yellow line. I got a first down. Joe Bergeron moves forward, and he moves forward with a ton of authority. Look at the screen, though. Big bodies downfield. Espinosa and Hopkins again blocks, this time setting up Mike Davis hey, for the give touchdown. Your, give your playmakers the ball in space. You see the big uglies out there getting their man, and it's just a walk-in for Magic Mike. Those big guys like to get the big body on those defensive backs, don't oh, they? Of course they do. They're always looking for us. 56-43. <laughs> if you thought this was over, you are insane, because it was not. Big Oak, though. Alex Okafor, Kendall Thompson, they come up for the sack. Baylor has to punt. It was a battle of who would punt less in this game. Oh, man, Joe Bergeron. You were feeling <laughs> it there that Joe Bergeron may go the distance on that play. But this is one of those drives where they just set up Baylor with that ground game. They want to establish that. And we see it. You run like that, and you set up drives for yourself in late-game situations like this. But Baylor gets the ball back. Third and five. Look at that. Five minutes left in the game. They get their first third-down conversion. And it's not over, folks. Not in the least bit. Lake Seastrunk, 21 yards. Four minutes left. Lanier Sampson working the screen. Slips a tackle inside the 10. Second and goal. Texas five. Cedric Reed. Cedric Reed, welcome to the big time. First career sack for Cedric Reed. However, there would be time and more downs for Baylor to do something with this drive. Florence, Terrence Williams, no, they're short. They are short. It's going to come to a fourth down. Fourth and goal from a one. You expecting Nick Florence on this play, Chris? Well, it's, it's just a good a decision by Florence not to try to get in there in those A gaps. He's not the biggest guy. He's patient, delays, and it's a walk-in touchdown for the quarterback. And it's a walk to the 50, a triumphant one at that for Mac Brown and the Texas Longhorns. They still had to go kill that clock. There was a third and one. And if they would not have got that, Baylor would have had a chance to win this game. Joe Bergeron gets two yards. So Texas wins 56 to 50.